Are you looking for love? Well, if you're struggling in your relationships right now, this is a hard question. Valentine's Day can be a reminder of loss or relationships that aren't quite where you want them to be. Maybe you're in a relationship that feels like it's falling apart, or maybe you feel distance when you're not sure how to fix it. Anytime you got two people connected together, right, you're going to experience some challenges. Today, I'm talking about the one thing you can do to create a loving relationship with the one you're looking for. There's a verse in the Bible that kind of guides me in this, 1 John 3, 18. Jesus said it this way, little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and truth. It sounds like a father writing this to children, doesn't it? In a way, it was John the Beloved, the apostle, was writing to a young church that's probably planted by early apostles. John uses this letter to remind these believers of what they first believed and heard. Even after being married for more than 30 years to my beautiful bride, Jill, I still need to be reminded of this truth. Let us love not just in words, not the hallmark moment, right, where I love you, but it's also our actions and in truth. Beloved, perhaps you need a reminder today, too. Our words can only take us so far. I remember hearing, don't tell me you love me, show me, right? If God doesn't like our lip service, then I suspect your spouse, created in his image, doesn't either. We need to make sure our actions are backing up our words, and sometimes we need to make sure our words are backing up our actions. So here's my plan today for you. Take a moment and just thank the Father for your spouse. And, or your significant other. If you're single, thank him for just being the lover of your own soul. Be specific in your gratitude. Why are you thankful for that person? Maybe your wife. Why do you love about them? You know, I found that practicing gratitude can change some things in, in you. And here's three things that gratitude does. Number one, it revises, revives areas in our heart where we have not appreciated our loved ones. It reminds us of why we love them and gives us words to bless them. It also removes these blind areas where we have been recognizing or seeing our loved ones. Now that you have your heart in this right place where you've connected to the Lord and start thinking about being grateful, I want you to take those things that you're grateful for and now bless your spouse or your significant other. Tell them why you love them. Tell them what you're grateful for. Then follow those wor words up with actions like, I'm so grateful for the way you care about our family, or I really love this about you. And, and, and here's a real powerful one. How can I serve you better? Now you're stepping into a powerful place. Beloved, if you're looking for love, that will help you find it. That'll help stir things inside of you towards the one that you want to love. Can I pray for you? Father, I thank you right now for the love you've planted in all of our hearts and for the example your son Jesus is to us in his loving words and actions. Help us to model your love to our loved ones. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, beloved, I'm doing these videos because I want to see God make a massive difference in your life. Since I've only got a few minutes with you each week, I can't always go as deep as I'd like to. That's why I've written several books to show you how you can connect to God as your father. My first book, The Difference a Father Makes, is a great place to start. You can find that and more on my website at blessingofthefather.com. And while you're there, sign up because I want to give you a free daily devotional. And remember, beloved, it's never too late for God to heal our stories.